Hey, good day everyone. It's Cassidy from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Uh, we're going to check out a 2020 Cricket. This is from Taxa Outdoors. So this is a really unique uh, off-road uh, trailer. Uh, it's 15 feet overall length, uh, 1,800 pounds dry, and is 2,500 pounds grossed out. So if you have a mid-size pickup, crossover SUV of some fashion, uh, half ton truck, uh, this thing is going to be uh, uh, right up your alley, so you don't need anything super heavy to tow this. And still have actually 15 gallons of fresh water on board this thing, so really unique piece. So let's take a look at this. So starting at the back here, we have a nice, super sturdy, um, some of these you stand on and you feel like you're going to fall, fall through on, but uh, super sturdy little step here to get up to the roof. We have a two-lead roof rack on here, so if you're wanting to bring along mountain bikes, kayaks, snowboard skis, uh, etc., this thing is going to be perfect to to haul all your stuff and, and strap down to these racks. So all these windows uh, will open. We'll show that on the inside, and we do have a bag awning on this. So once you get to your destination, if you want to put that out to get a little shade while you're chilling out. Uh, that's going to be perfect. So, uh, we've got some off road tires on here, and there is a torsion axle up under here as well. Just a nice, easy motion, uh, single step in and out. The construction of this thing is super, super sturdy. Now, it's got a nice aluminum frame that you can actually see all that from the inside. We'll take a look at that in a minute. So we have stabilizer jacks on all four corners of this trailer, so you'll be nice and sturdy once you get set up at your destination. Two 20-pound propane tanks on board. Nice little easy access so you can turn those valves on and off. And your regulator inside there. So this is a manual tongue jack, but it's geared super nice and easy. It's a ball tongue jack that's a better brand than most. All right, coming on over to the utility side. We have our fresh water fill there for our 15 gallons of water. So you can option this with a side mount air conditioner. And so we could actually put a 5,000 BTU a side mount AC on this uh, and replace this window here. Love the, the fenders on this, super solid, super heavy gauge metal. That's not gonna bend or break in time. So. Got a portable solar plug down there as well. Coming around the back, we got LED lights all the way around this thing. And uh, I'm gonna check out this hatch up into the back here. Let's take a little glimpse on the back here before we go inside. So storage uh, is actually pretty plentiful in this thing. So we got all nice solid uh, birch wood in this. And Got little tie downs and spots. Uh, so you kind of catch a quick glimpse in here of all the aluminum structure inside this unit. It's actually super strong. So you can see our, our dinette there and this will make down into a bed. But it does offer sleeping up to two adults and two very small children. So coming in on the inside, So we have an LED light strip here, uh, providing our lighting in this unit. Up top, we have a countertop up here. I kind of like that they do this nice little cover over this to uh, add that countertop. Over on this side, we have a knife holder and just other holder for other things, maybe long lighters or things of that nature. And I kind of like this little detail of adding these little other countertops up here, just giving you a little bit more space. So we've got a breaker box in here. So we've got a breakers or fuses over here. And we got ducts for the, for the furnace coming out over here on this side and over here. Um, so it's kind of interesting. This is a Truma furnace water heater combination uh, all down in here. So, great amount of storage under here. 
Uh, we can put a uh, porta potty in here uh, that will set in there super nicely if that's what you choose to do. And if you don't choose to do that, you can just you know use that for extra uh, camping gear. So the storage in here is actually super deep on these two shelves. And what's kind of cool is you can actually, they've made this so everything's super easy to access. So you can actually remove this, this fascia and, and get back in to what you maybe need to get back into behind. So up here we have a 12 volt plug in. We have two USBs, our controls for our Truma uh, furnace water heater combo. And then we can turn the lighting on and off, different things. So we have more LED lighting up there and water heater lighting. We got fuses. So if you ever need to replace it, any fuses, that's easy to access. We've got a GFCI outlet over here. So over here on this side, so this is where the side mount AC would go if that's what you choose to do. Got some lighting switches, some more additional lighting in the back there. And then that's to help set the mood, you know, good or bad. So um, let's see. So you can kind of see all that aluminum structure that they have built into this. So it's actually a super strong unit. And, oh, here's another little 12 volt plug right on here. Let's see if there's one, nope, not one on that side, but one over here. But yeah, this bed will, or this table will go down in place and this, so this will make room for one big bed up here. So up top we have a fantastic fan. So these things, these things are great. These things move a ton of air. So this is a manual lift lid we can change the direction do we want to go in do we want to go out so maybe you want to bring some cool air in suck some hot air out We've got some great options being that is a reversible fan it just changed the direction now it's going to go the other way so that's it's pretty cool okay so we got a nice little built-in shades so kind of our night shades day shades kind of stuff there and and these will come up as well here in the back and we have an escape window here and we got a window over here on this side that will open up if you want to get some fresh air in here all right i want to show you guys uh the ease of bringing this up and down so come up here we have some bungees that are holding the sides in, so that will help pull the canvas in from the sides. And this is a this is a super easy motion. So we're gonna go ahead and bring this on down. Maybe you got bad weather, and maybe you want to bring this thing down. You can still uh, use this unit even with this in the down position. And then we have these little hooks that come up and we'll clamp that down and so that will take your kind of your pop-up so to speak or your soft canvas and turn this thing into a hard side trailer in the event you're in some maybe some rough weather so you can still function in here still utilize your things and and I kind of tall on the upper body and I'm still able to sit here and function um, normally so anyway, awesome unit. Thanks for watching along today, guys. Again, I'm Cassidy from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Uh, you can see this unit with photos at smithrv.com. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe and many more to come. So thanks for watching, have an awesome day.